Eh, Sister Ron, okay? <laughs> See, I'm not able to come to the program. Yes, mommy. I'm so sorry. Your husband is not around. He's not, oh, yeah. mommy. So, when next will you be seeing you now? Ah, mommy. <laughs> This is my children because of that. I don't even have time. I don't even have time. I don't even know what to do. Even to pray, mommy, it's a problem. Eh, is that all okay? The Bible says we should pray always, right? Yes, mommy, I know, and I'm trying. It's just this time. Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Bisola Ayodele, and I feel with my faith, family lifestyle and book reviews today i'm going to be answering some questions that someone sent to me some few months ago how do you combine praying with parenting so this is the first thing we need to know parenting is not first about the children but parenting is about you the parents Parenting is about the parents and not about the children. As parents, we are there to direct and guide the children into what they should do. So if we do not help them plan what they should do and plan their time, they will keep looking like a distraction to our own lives. So as parents, one additional duty we have is not only to plan for ourselves, but to also plan for the children right so once we get that right that parenting is about we the parents then we'll stop looking at the children like ah it's because of you i'm not able to pursue my career it's because of you i'm not able to do this because ah ah abba mom and daddy we coming down please <laughs> so how can we now combine prayer with parents prayer is important as a christian one of the, our major pillars or major things that we have to do our major disciplines as christians is prayer we need to pray we need to pray because jesus said that men ought to always pray abby and not to faint and even apostle paul said you should pray always without sin. because of this the first thing to do as a parent is to prioritize prayer if you see prayer as important, then you create time for it. We don't complain that we don't have time to have our bath or we don't have time to eat. But when it comes to prayer and spiritual things, that is when we start giving excuses. That's because we have not seen prayer as a part of our life that is very, very important. And if we don't prioritize prayer, we won't create time for it. We can only create time for what we value. So number one thing is to value prayer value prayer not only prayer we should value fellowship with god value the time that we spend with god then once we are able to value it like ah this is very important let's say before it was on number five on your scale of preference and it now rises to number one on your scale of preference then you will definitely create time for it okay so from experience i had that same you know struggle and i went on instagram went to like check all our celeb pastors and their wives to check their pages to see if i'll see a content or a write-up around that i saw a few but i didn't really get what i was looking for so i had to walk through my journey and bring out what would work for me so as time went on i found out that any day that i do not start with prayer that day just goes upside down so since then i now said okay this thing is very important and i know i have agreed that it's important then i need to create time for it to ensure that i am able to you know consistently practice it so i made it this way that when i wake up in the morning the first thing i do as my alarm is being brand 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 my prayer time is the same brand 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 so wake up alarm is prayer alarm for me i tried late nights but late night didn't work for me i'll find out that once i start praying and i just close my eyes sleep comes the next thing early morning <laughs> so i decided to use early morning early momo <laughs> so early in the morning like this i, I shifted my my waking up time 30 minutes 
you know, earlier. So that that first 30 minutes, I spend it with God in whatever we want to study the Bible, pray, worship, fellowship, or anything that I have to do before I go into my day. And you know, one beautiful thing about this time, the children are still asleep. Everywhere is quiet. My environment is quiet. No distraction. I'm able to focus on God and myself. So first thing first, agree, accept, know that it is important for you to pray and fellowship with God. Second thing is to now create that time. For you, my early morning might not work for you. Midnight might work for you or late night might work for you. Know the time that works for you and just launch in with it. Another beautiful thing about parenting is that as you're going through your, your, your daily activities and uses, you can pray. As you are beating the children, be scaboshing up over them. Eh? Be declaring upon their life as you are beating. Instead of you to be thinking or getting worried or complaining, turn into prayer. As you are washing, as you are washing, be praying, be talking to God. As you are washing. Let me give you this one. Anytime I'm washing plates like this, ah, that's where Rema used to come for me. As I'm washing the plate like this, I'm meditating, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of plans, you know thinking upon the word of God. So as you are doing those house chores, maximize that time to communicate with God, to commune with. The third thing is to now, you know, be accountable to someone or to a group. If you come to a church, you can be accountable to a brethren or sister as it's here, in your fellowship. Or if you wouldn't mind joining an online platform, I have a WhatsApp group at the exploit place where we challenge ourselves to you know grow spiritually we study the word of god and we share from what god is doing in our lives part time so if you would like to join us uh, the link will be in the description box please do well to uh, click the link in the description box to join us at the exploit place so those are the three major things i think are very important to know is the right timing for quiet time there is no right timing there's no wrong timing for quiet time the most important thing is for you to have the quiet time decide where your quiet time will be for some of us early in the morning for some people late in the night for some other people midnight then for some people their quiet time is when they are coming home commuting in lagos traffic or they just put their earpiece or airpods in their ear and they are off into another world so you are the one that knows how your your day goes then you can determine when your quiet time will be if you cannot do midnight there's no sin there we are not in a soldier and civilian relationship with god god is our father now you know that's what my daddy my daddy your baby is singing yes that is the exact song god is our father he sees our day he knows how our day is jesus christ is our high priest and he knows all our struggles all our weaknesses he knows what we are going through and he's the one that has put that desire in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure so that you are even feeling hungry that you want to pray it's not you it's god that is working in you that is making you want to even fellowship that is making you want to serve him so the most important thing for you to do is to know the time that works for you and then stick to it i'm already taking the matter personal i need water at this junction <sighs> okay guys <laughs> What I've said so far, number one, prioritize your fellowship with God. Dwell in the secret place of the most high. Okay? When you see that it is important, you want to dwell there. Number two, plan your time. Parenting is about you. So plan the time you spend with God, plan the time you spend with your spouse, plan the time you spend with your children. Number three, be accountable to somebody or to a group. You can join the Earthworth Place using the link in the description box and then there's no right time or wrong time look at your day look at your um, schedule and determine the, the time that is right for you to spend with god if you have any more questions around this topic please do well to drop in the comments or if you have experiences that i can also learn from i'll be glad to read from you i just feel to say a prayer before we go father thank you for this moment that we have shared together 
We ask that your spirit will help us to be doers, to be dwellers in your presence in the name of Jesus. You have put in us that desire to, to seek you and we have decided that we will seek you early. Lord, help us. We can't even help ourselves. Wake us up when we ought to. Help us. And help us to see the people that we can even reach out to and connect with and be accountable to on this journey. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. So, Sister Romoke, Brother Romoke, no more complaint. Plan your time. Plan your time. Let me leave you with this. Your prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Those children you're talking about also need to be prayed for. Will you not labor in the place of prayer? Till I see you next time, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.